I'm here in Baghdad in the restaurant my friend uh, Abdul Gaffa from uh, Baghdad and uh, I'm tired of dead animals, meat, you see even his restaurant, they serve meat and pizza. I want to have some food that is, uh, doesn't contain animal products. So I told my friend Abdul Gaffar I want to prepare a pasta and I uh, all vegetarian, all vegan. So I already cut the uh, onions, I cut the uh, uh, peppers, I cut the uh, mushrooms and I cut the tomatoes. These are the tomatoes that I cut and now I'm preparing the sauce. Here the tomato sauce and I have a helper. This is Abdul Gaffar brother and this is now I'm going to throw the peppers in there and then I have a uh, soy meat that I bought in Afghanistan. But of course you can buy it anywhere. And uh, you see, it tastes like chicken, but it's not that animal. And this is the pasta. It's not Italian pasta, but I hope it will be good. But that's what they have in the restaurant. So I'm going to throw the tomatoes in here. How about this? Use a dish. What's what? wrong with you? Where is the dish? I cut myself these tomatoes. Now I'm going to put them in the dish and I'm going to throw them in the pan with the oil and the rest of the vegetables. And then I will add the soy meat. So if you never prepare a tomato sauce, this is a way to prepare it. I'm going to, then I will add some tomato sauce just to make uh, give a little bit more uh, uh, liquid. So this I'm going to let it cook a little bit. And the water, I already prepared the water, thank you. Then I'm going to get the salt. I'm going to put a little bit of salt in there. I need a... The thing is that in a restaurant they use big quantity, big pans, big everything. For me, I'm used to cook in the house. It's, uh, and I prepare it a different way. This is a tomato sauce, tomato paste. That's good. So I'm going to continue. Then I'm going, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the so some of the soy meat in a, a little bit of water so it gets uh, moist. So I'm going to put it in here. This container, no, this one. This one. I want to put some soy meat. Shukran. Shukran. And that will be the protein for the pasta. Even though vegetables and uh, uh, fruits contain a certain amount, some more, some less, but they contain protein. That's it. I don't want it to do too much because uh, last time I prepared it was too much, but I love it. It tastes like chicken. I put in a couple of minutes in some water so it gets moist. Now I'm going to get, put the tomato sauce, a little bit of tomato sauce in there. That's it. Then I mix. Some spices. You have spices. They have everything. You are, you are in Jumar restaurant. What's wrong with you? Why is in your head? It's Jumar restaurant. Then it's going to be very delicious. This is the uniform, by the way. This is the uniform they use in the restaurant. Spicy. What is that? A little bit. A little bit. Want to put a little spice? So now I throw the soy meat in there, so it will get a flavor. It's like a make a bolognese sauce, but instead of uh, using the flesh of dead animals, you use soy meat and it tastes 
even better. And my poncho will be clean because I didn't kill any animal. And that's it. This is I'm going to like to cook. This is a this going to Tomato sauce is ready. Right. Now we're going to cook the pasta. The, it's not uh, the structure how many minutes, but usually it's like eight minutes. And I also I'm very bad with quantity, so I don't know if this hopefully this is a, a good quantity for the pasta. So I throw it there and I count. Let me see. It's uh, now 9:35, so maybe. In another 10 minutes, I will finish the pasta. This is the final product. It's delicious Italian pasta made in Iraq. Very nice. Bon appetit.